And I'm going to finish cooking up these crepes and then we'll make the bananas. We're ready to make the bananas flambe for our crepes. So we're going to heat up our pan. Every time I have bananas flambe at a restaurant with ice cream, I always feel like, well, this would be so good with the crepe underneath it. So, hence, this is how this recipe came about. We're going to add three tablespoons of unsalted butter to our pan. Swirl it around. And as soon as it starts to melt, we're going to add a pinch of salt. And we're going to add a half a cup of amber agave nectar. Um, I'm using agave agave nectar. It's a new agave nectar that has the lowest glycemic index of agave nectars out there of 17. Um, it tastes delicious and it's really um, a nice thick agave nectar. So we're just going to pour out a half a cup. Pour it right into our pan. We are going to let this start simmering and bubbling and then we're going to reduce the heat and kind of let the agave nectar and the butter sort of thicken slightly before we add our bananas. Our agave nectar and butter are sizzling in the pan. Now we're going to add our bananas. And I have four sliced up bananas, ripe but not too mushy, not overly ripe. Let them start simmering in all this delicious butter and agave. And we're going to cook them until they soften up a little bit. So it's going to take about two to four minutes before they're soft, depending on how ripe your bananas were. Now we're going to be adding our rum and flambeing them. So it looks like a lot of rum. <laughs> but but it's going to all evaporate. All the alcohol will evaporate and all you'll have is a delicious rum flavor. So we're going to pour it in and then immediately afterwards using a long um, kind of a aim flame lighter here, we're going to just light it and have all the alcohol evaporate. And this is a safe way of flambeing. There we go. And it's going to kind of be flaming for a couple minutes until the alcohol all burns off. So just be careful. Don't stand, stand too close to the pan. But it will just uh, die down once the alcohol is all burned off. There it is. It's all gone. Now we just have these delicious, soft bananas. And at the very end, we add a little bit of vanilla. Stir it all up. And we're ready to plate them. Okay, we're ready to plate up our whole wheat crepes with bananas flambe. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, a crepe and fold it in half. And then again, to kind of make a little triangle. And I like to put two crepes on a plate per serving. And then we take a little bit of those saute delicious bananas. They smell so amazing with that rum smell and the butter. Even though we use very little butter for this whole recipe, this, real, this serves uh, four to six people. There's only three tablespoons of butter in the uh, in the bananas so it really is a healthier decadent recipe and the, the final thing I think with a nice warm dessert is some vanilla ice cream and there's an agave vanilla bean ice cream recipe in my book sweetened with agave nectar which would be perfect complement to this and we just uh, put a nice little scoop right alongside it or over it and then a little cinnamon, I think, just to make the plate look pretty. It's going to look like it came out of a gourmet restaurant. 
So there you go. Whole wheat crepes with bananas flambe with some vanilla ice cream. A great entertaining dish that is still healthier for you and very easy to make and it will impress your guests. So enjoy. Mm -hmm.